Okay, this is Think Tank. We just had a fabulous uh, scene on the street, an event on the street for the 4th of July here on Friday, the, the Friday before 4th of July. Uh, Chanara Richmond and Sandy. Gorski Bro. Okay, and, and, we, and, and what, six other people in your group. Yeah. Um, it was uh, Sing for Life, which Sing is really- Sing for Your Life is Sing the name for of the group, yes. Tell us about Sing for Your Life, Chanara. Well, Sing for Your Life is, uh, we are, we are a group. We uh, rehearse at the Kilauea District Park on Wednesdays starting in September. And we travel. We like to provide um, sing-along entertainment for the people that are in the retirement facilities. So we travel all over Oahu doing these programs. And it's a great joy. Our group is fabulous. They're all volunteer singers. They give of their time and their energy. And it's very rewarding. It's very fun. I noticed they were fabulous. I noticed that. <laughs> and those songs, you know, the patriotic songs, you don't sing them every day, really. No. But when you do sing them, when I sing them, you know, I'm, I'm just an amateur. I get so emotional. I, could, I couldn't sing along with you. I would choke up every few lines, you know. You saw that happen, yeah. Yes, I have just, done. Uh, just wondering why I couldn't sing is because I got choked yeah, up. Yeah, I know. I understand. It's <laughs> happened to me many times times myself, I know. Yeah, so, um, well, so what does it mean, Fourth of July? What does it mean, these songs? What does it mean to express yourself and be free to sing these songs? To me, the Fourth of July, these songs, these patriotic songs, are they are the, they are the vision. They hold the hope of what can be. It reminds me of the Founding Fathers. It's, it's our potential of what we can do. So, when we look at all what's going on, we get so discouraged, and everybody's so bitter, bitter and fighting and argumentative. But we have to hold the vision of the greatness of humankind. And I believe without a, in my heart of hearts that America has that greatness of all the nations in the world. I, you know, not to put anybody else down, but America does have that potential for greatness. And I believe we can bring this forth in because of our ability to be, uh, express our, our opinions and our disagreements and our, there still is within all of us this passion for freedom. I, everything I do, including uh, the 4th of July, but my whole life is about empowering people to experience freedom, vocal freedom, freedom of expressing themselves. And we can do that and uh, we can legally do that, sort of, if we have our permits. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it was clear in the street today that you guys were singing to the rafters, that yeah. you, were, you were projecting not to the, the mall or the building across the way, but the whole world. Yeah. And I really appreciate it. And people in the mall appreciated it, too. We yeah. have to do this again. But, you know, one thing, uh, you know, we live, there's another symbolic point that needs to be discussed. We live in a time when people are dissociating from the government, and the government in its own way is dissociating from the people. It used to be, I always used to say, the government is us. We are the government. The country is ours. We are the country. But somehow it's lost in, in, in current times, and, and there's a, a lot of animosity and polarization happening. Yes. And somehow, to me, and I'd like your thought about it too, to me, singing these songs, having this concert on the Fort Street Mall, somehow is a, is a great statement, despite all that polarization, despite the controversy, despite the animosity. We can do this, and it brings us together, all of us together somehow. Yes, I, I firmly, strongly believe these songs, and, and th we must wield joy. We must, our only weapon is our, our ability to control our feelings and to control our joy. So yeah, to radiate and to be joy and to feel joy and to express joy, it literally, we see this in the retirement homes, this, the, first of all, the act of singing. Just to sing, you have to breathe deep. It's tonic. You get oxygen in your body. It helps heal you. It transforms you. It releases endorphins in your brain. It, uh, it stimulates your thymus gland, which improves your immune system. <laughs> the words are, go through your mind. It alleviates depression. So we kind of wield, we wield our joy through song, like a weapon, to, to annihilate depression, to annihilate anger, to annihilate fear, just as Martin Luther King did with We Shall Overcome. You know, this says, just as uh, Gandhi, this is like a, to sing and to feel joy in spite, to refuse to be angry, to refuse to feel fear, to take action where we can take action. And this is the way I can take action, is I can help generate joy and generate this feeling and bring, because when we sing, people's hearts open up. They're awakened. Regardless of what's going on in their intellect with their thoughts and their feelings and their attitudes, their heart opens up. And when the heart opens up, it's greater 
than all the garbage that's around us. And this brings in joy, it brings in happiness, it brings in light, and it brings in ideas that we can do to alter things, to help each other so that we as a society can yeah. be better. It integrates us, and it integrates us with, with our community, our society. Yep. And the vision, these songs, these songs have the vision. Not everybody feels this way, right? No. And, and in preparation for this, we went out and did a little publicity, yeah. and somebody called you. Can you talk about that? No, I got an email. I got yeah. an, okay. an email what, what, outraged. What well, how dare you? Uh, it said, what is this irony, is what they said. How dare you uh, have this, uh, with, with what's going on in our country, how dare you, uh, what is it, propagate the status quo? Yeah, it was very interesting. Very interesting. So, well, what do you say to him? He's out there. He's on she, camera one. Yeah, yeah. Or she. Camera what, what do you say to that one. person right now? Answer that person. Camera four, but I, okay, yeah. so the answer to this person, I already did answer him. Look, I invited this person. There really is. The, the status quo is not patriotism. The status quo is hate in, on every side. And the, the real revolution right now is to create a way to feel joy and harmony and to manifest the Dalai Lama stead there is nothing in life that is worth losing your sense of peace over and i agree i agree totally with him and so this our ability to feel peace and to sense peace and to radiate peace is the only place that we can come from if we really want to change things and help people and it's well it's what i'm doing and so i invited this person if you want to join the revolution join the love war that's the real revolution Lovely, lovely. <laughs> so tell us about your singers. Uh, can you name them for us so we have it on record? Yeah, yet? I actually have it on record my, my brain. Okay, Pat Sullivan was on the far end. Next came Char Charles Yara. Next was Amy Kim. Next was uh, Lisa Jordan. Jacobs. Jacobs, sorry, sorry, Lisa Jacobs. Then comes Sandy gorski Brow and me. And then wonderful. Oh, I, I was lip syncing. <laughs> you can hear my voice, but I don't think you got over the microphone. That was okay with me. <laughs> we have other members. That some of them are out of, out of off island, and uh, one of our beautiful members, Margie, is uh, got shingles, and oh, she uh, was, so yeah. she's out for the count. And uh, and Vicky was her mom is in critical condition. Yeah. So anyway, we have more people, but you know. But you keep on trucking, though. We keep we're, on keeping on. We're built on. of strong stuff, Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy, what was the experience like for you today? It was good. I felt like we were reminding the world, or a small portion of the world, that we are a great nation and to remember who we are. Were well, you looking at the crowd? What did you see? What, did, what, what kind of uh, I saw people feedback? walking by, people running by, but also as they're running by, the, the ear cocked. I saw people stopping to join in and enjoy. All sorts of, all sorts of things. But I think people enjoyed it. That's what I, my takeaway was. Yeah. I want them all to enjoy it. <laughs> we'll play this. Do we'll play dream. your concert Do over and over again. Dream. <laughs> <laughs> Let everybody be free. Free. <laughs> well, it was wonderful that you came down and did this, you guys. All of you. Thank you for having yeah. us. And it was lovely what you you're did. You're wonderful. And, and, and the quality of <laughs> the singing. What you're doing for the community with this program. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're, you're you're we'll have to do it again, you know, yeah. the other time yeah. soon. Yeah. yeah. I want you guys back. I want to do more concerts in the street. <laughs> it was, we invented a kind of pattern With today, a permit you know, this time. <laughs> <laughs> we have a template going now. We can do this again. So develop your yeah. repertory, and yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll do it again. Yeah. <laughs> Consider us a resource. Yeah. Okay. Closing remarks, Sandy. Closing remarks. What do you want to leave the listeners with? Oh, thanks so much for listening to us, and I hope you shared in our joy. Thank you, Sandy. Shana. Thank you. Thank you very much for uh, inviting us to do this, and. Uh, God bless you, God bless America, and have a happy 4th of July. Thank you, Shannara. Thank you, Sandy. I'll be less emotional next time. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Be who you are. Your heart is booming. <laughs>